America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was going to put him in a uh, foot, foot. I was going to put him in a uh, foot, foot. And by the way, you know, I sit on the stand and it get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again they look at it so I learned about roaches I learned about kids jumping on my lap and I've loved kids jumping on my lap what did he say and I tell you what the men they're now all men the guys I work with down here and they're all guys at the time what bro what are you talking about man Joseph Robinette Biden jr. Also known as Sleepy Creepy Joe was born on November 20, 1942, in Scranton, Pennsylvania, has had a long and storied career in American politics. Raised in a working-class family, Biden moved to Delaware at a young age, where he eventually began his political journey. He graduated from the University of Delaware in 1965 and Syracuse University College of Law in 1968. Biden's political career started in 1972 when he was elected to the U.S. Senate from Delaware at the age of 29, becoming one of the youngest senators in American history. His tenure in the Senate lasted 36 years, during which he became known for his work on foreign relations, criminal justice, and drug policy. Notably, he served as chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee and later the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Despite a successful career, Biden's life was marred by personal tragedy. Shortly after his first election to the Senate, his wife Nelia and daughter Naomi were killed in a car accident. His sons, Bo and Hunter, were injured but survived. Biden considered resigning to care for his family but was persuaded to continue by Senate colleagues. Biden's Senate career wasn't without controversy. He faced criticism for his role in the 1991 Clarence Thomas Supreme Court confirmation hearings where he was accused of mishandling the testimony of Anita Hill, who had accused Thomas of sexual harassment. Additionally, some of Biden's past statements and actions have drawn scrutiny. For instance, during the 1970s, he opposed federally mandated busing for school desegregation, a stance he later acknowledged was a mistake. I think the two-party system, although my Democratic colleagues don't like me saying this, I think the two-party system is good for the South and good for the Negro, good for the... In 1987, Biden launched his first presidential campaign, which ended in controversy due to accusations of plagiarism in his campaign speeches and during his law school years. His second bid for the presidency in 2008 was also short-lived, but it positioned him to be selected as Barack Obama's running mate. As vice president, Biden played a crucial role in the Obama administration, particularly in managing economic recovery efforts following the 2008 financial crisis and shaping foreign policy. Biden's tenure as vice president was marked by his affable personality and everyman appeal, but he occasionally made controversial remarks. For example, in 2007, he described Barack Obama as the first mainstream African-American who is articulate and bright and clean. This comment was widely criticized as being racially insensitive. In 2019, Biden launched his third presidential campaign, ultimately winning the Democratic nomination and defeating incumbent President Donald Trump in the 2020 election. His campaign focused on restoring the soul of the nation and addressing issues like the COVID-19 pandemic, economic inequality, and racial injustice. Throughout his career, Joe Biden has faced scrutiny and controversy on several fronts. Biden has been criticized for past statements and policy positions related to race. Notably, his opposition to federally mandated busing for school desegregation in the 1970s was a significant point of contention. More recently, during a radio interview in 2020, he stated, If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, 
then you ain't black, which was met with widespread criticism for being racially insensitive. During the 1991 Clarence Thomas Supreme Court confirmation hearings, Biden, then chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, was criticized for his handling of Anita Hill's sexual harassment allegations against Thomas. Critics argued that he did not provide Hill with a fair hearing and allowed her to be treated poorly by the committee. In his 1987 presidential campaign, Biden faced allegations of plagiarism in his speeches and during his time in law school. The controversy forced him to withdraw from the race, casting a long shadow over his political career. Biden voted in favor of the Iraq War in 2002, a decision that has been heavily scrutinized in hindsight. Although he later expressed regret for this vote, it remains a point of criticism among his detractors. The chaotic withdrawal of U.S. troops from Afghanistan in 2021, which led to the rapid takeover by the Taliban and a humanitarian crisis, drew significant criticism. Many argued that the withdrawal was poorly planned and executed, resulting in unnecessary suffering and instability. Biden is known for his occasional verbal missteps and gaffes, which have sometimes undermined his public messaging. These incidents have been used by critics to question his cognitive abilities and overall fitness for office. Hunter Biden, Joe Biden's son, has been the subject of scrutiny regarding his business dealings, particularly in Ukraine and China. Allegations of corruption and impropriety, though not directly implicating Joe Biden, have been a persistent issue, fueling partisan attacks and investigations. Additionally, Joe Biden is often referred to by some as Sleepy Joe, a nickname popularized by former President Donald Trump. This moniker was intended to portray Biden as lacking energy, enthusiasm, or mental sharpness, especially during the 2020 presidential campaign. This characterization was frequently used in political rhetoric to question Biden's stamina and cognitive abilities, aiming to paint him as unfit for the presidency due to his age and perceived lack of vigor. The nickname came after a series of videos where Biden appears to occasionally fall asleep during important meetings and television interviews. As president, Biden has faced numerous challenges including the ongoing pandemic, a turbulent withdrawal from Afghanistan, and significant legislative battles. Despite his efforts to unite the country, his presidency has been divisive, with significant opposition from both the political right and left. Throughout his career, Biden has been a figure of resilience and controversy, navigating personal tragedy and political challenges with a commitment to public service. His journey reflects the complexities and contradictions of American politics, marked by significant achievements and moments of contention. Do you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump and you ain't black? But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. We are a community that relies on families, on all of us. That voucher is worth enough to buy that's available in the open marketplace.